We're back with our fourth episode of We Meet, and today we're interviewing Mobile County Commissioner Jerry Carl, and we're very excited to meet him. He is the Mobile County Commissioner of District 3. That includes downtown Mobile, where Government Plaza is. And by the way, I'm wearing this, this tag because this is my last week of being an intern here, and I've enjoyed it very much. And part of the reason I enjoyed it is because of Commissioner Carl. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. It has great. been such a pleasure having you around. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being around. So, we're going to keep this short and sweet because I know you are busy. And I have this first question for you. Um, I've read your bio online and you're a very interesting commissioner because you were first a business owner before you got into the business world. And I know that you have a lot of experience in the business world and now you're entering the political world. Could you recount some of the differences that you had to get used to when you got, when you got into office? Well, there's a lot of similarities in that you're constantly trying to save money. Uh, and, and saving money, you can do more. You can build more roads, or if you're in business for yourself, you can expand your business. So the, the, that's where the, it's, uh, it's similar. Where it's not similar is where you get the bureaucrats involved, and uh, it takes it takes nine people to do the job for one. And uh, in, in the business world, it just doesn't work that way. In, in the business world, you make a decision on your business, and you move forwards. And in government, it's not that way. You make a decision and then you have to get people to uh, understand, believe in what your, your thoughts are, actually vote with you and then move forward. So it, it's a lot more frustrating than being in business for myself. Um, why did you choose to run for office? Because you seem less aggressive than the average politician, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Yeah. You know, my son was in Afghanistan and, and as I sat here, and I, and I looked at things around me. The unemployment was up high. Uh, it, it just a lot of things seemed to be crashing and burning. It's easy to uh, uh, judge people or judge situations. So I decided to, to try my hand in the public arena and see if I could take my skills, my job skills, and actually help society or help my community. Simple as it is, that's it. I'm, I'm, doing my time just like my son did in the military. And that's admirable because I have a brother and a sister who are in the armed forces. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. One is in the, my brother is in the Navy and my sister is in the Coast Guard. And All that's, right. I can understand your yeah. want to give back like they did. So I admire both you and him for that. And fantastic. lastly, is there any legacy you would like to leave behind? Would you like to be known as a man who was a master in both the business and the political realm? I, I would just like to be known as somebody that gave it my best. You know, I just, right, wrong, and different, I just gave it my best. Whether it was in business or whether it was in, in, in the public sector, uh, in, in office, it just, I gave it my best. Well, that's it. Everyone, this is Commissioner Jerry Carl, District 3. He is one of our three commissioners. We have Commissioner Lovegood, District 1, and Commissioner Connie Hudson, District 2, and of course he is the third district. And we are very, very glad to have this opportunity to sit down with him. And I urge everyone to look into government yourselves. Get to know Get the involved. ins and outs. Yes. Get involved. And feel free to contact your commissioners wherever you live. Feel free to get to know them. Go to city council meetings. Do all of those things because it's very important to get involved because we are the future. Amen. You are the future. And it does count. Every vote counts and every opinion counts. So get involved. I agree. So, so long, everybody, and thanks for tuning in. This must be love.